often look back and wonder, what if? What if the path not taken had in fact been our charted course? Would we be happier? Or are we, with our set of choices behind us, the lucky ones? And what if nothing would be different? What if for some of us, our destiny across the endless number of versions of ourselves has been defined and locked beyond any causality of circumstance, beyond the forces in any one reality, but across all realities? For one man, the magnetic pull of destiny is so great it breaks time and space. We join this lone operative, many versions of him in fact, as he chases his nemesis, a dangerous being known as the master of many worlds. Across the multiverse, across the many versions of a city that is always the same, yet always different. In Night Springs. <laughs> Tonight's reality-bending episode, Time Breaker. We still got one more DLC for this game. No this matter starting how many out parallel tense. realities I need to brave, how many lives, how many versions of me it takes, I will stop you, and I will come back for you, <laughs> my love. Cut. Everyone, take five. All right, <laughs> Poison pill entertainment. It's out. Who is that? Was that okay? I mean, I can do more. I can do less. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Sean, I'm really happy. Let's talk. So well, that's funny. That's funny. That is Sam. Was it Sam Luke? Sam Lake? Hello. <laughs> Uh, to, to, to. Sam Lake, he is the creative director. He was he was the face of Max Payne of this character. The sadly we lost the voice of Max Payne. Sadly. I love your instinct on this, but we can still push this further. Immerse ourselves into this story. Believe in it. Make it crazier, wilder. That's his actual voice too. Ba, 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 da, da, da. You wanted to talk? It's awesome to be doing this with you again, Sam. Sean, <laughs> it's so good to have you back. We've been dreaming about this for so long, and now finally we are making Timebreaker, the video game. It's happening. Yeah, and FMV as well. That's so cool. Of course. That was part of the previous game as well. Uh. Okay, so he is playing his... He is not... Sean's playing himself, essentially, kind of. I'd like to talk about my character. Just get deeper into the lore. Hey, I could talk about this for days. He's a multiversal agent goes by many names as there are many versions i'm trying to read it breaker branch others he's searching for his lost love while his ruthless nemesis door <laughs> the master of many worlds is murdering versions of him across parallel realities he must track down and stop door that's so cool you've done cool superhero roles in the past has he? Long term, the agent will grow into the ultimate iconic superhero. Oh, that's awesome. Also, that is very much a Jet Li movie. So, the Vortex and the Gadget. I'm... 
Sorry, I keep forgetting its name. There's, there's just so many acronyms here. But it helps me travel through realities. Acronyms are cool, right? Like tiny mysteries. You power up your PRS, polyhedron reality shifter, with the SEN shifter energy node to activate a Lumi Vista TV and ride the vortex between Lumi realities. <laughs> it's all REC, Ripple Effect Corporation Tech. And you have a gun and a TPS, Time Breaker Solidifier, to defend yourself. <laughs> right, yeah. All right. You clearly have your own vision. Um, of the multiverse. Phil Lair says this is actually their next the game. Truth. It's all out there. That's where these ideas and inspirations come from. They seep through. Somewhere this year, us talking is part of the video game, and another version of you is playing it. Somewhere, your character, the agent, is real, and he could appear here through a portal anytime now. Right. Yeah, yeah, right, like, Sam. Right now, behind you. <laughs> you are a maniac, man. Totally. Crackers. Okay. Crackers. So, um, what do we shoot next? We need to set up for the next scene, where your nemesis pulls you into a parallel reality. You can go to your green room, chill out, learn the lines. I left the latest draft of the screenplay for you there. See you in a bit. Cool. Can't wait. 1995. Poison Sometimes pill. Sometimes it's hard to tell if Sam's joking. A deadpan Finnish humor. And a reputation of being a bit out there. I picked up a weird vibe when he talked about the multiverse. This is kind of similar to uh, the... Yeah, this is the same kind of layout as the night the show we were looking at. This is your end. What the fuck was that? That Hello? was just Billy. What the fuck is this? I thought I'd gone mad. Then I realized Sam was playing a crazy prank on me. <laughs> There's no way this was real. Those are my lines. What is this? Written by Sam Lake. Suddenly, psychedelic colors appeared to flare up through the open doorway. Branch in OS room. Fierce panic shouted, no. Door in OS room, forceful. This is your end. Loud struggle can be heard in the room. Actor spook. <laughs> this is literally what you just saw. This is what's reality. Actor is a double, a trail of blood from the wall where he hit his head. As via guns and the sci-fi-ish like TBS and the scepter-like PRS. Actor shocked. To the point of those <laughs> what is this i thought i got mad oh my god this is exactly what i said screenplay lies on the floor poison pill logo visible on the page another page of screenplay it's um, it's a one-to-one -one, this page here the player investigates the page <laughs> confused <laughs> player i'm taking all this i had to admire how real the body and the props looked so oh. we got another one of you, huh? Agent. Too late again. Excuse me? <laughs> hey, Jesse. No, th this is just, it's a prank. It's just a prank. Wait, are you? Shit. You're not Branch. No. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. <sighs> he finally got you. Are, are you cast in this game, too? Uh, Rebels? Listen. There are things you need to know. You are in great danger. <laughs> you must do exactly what I tell you. <laughs> Hi, door. What the fuck? Oh, I changed what that. Look, fuck? I blanked out and I was suddenly someplace else. I'd had gaps in my memory before, but. That's the movie star lifestyle for you. Yeah. This was something else entirely. The fact that your hair is grown, you got a beard on you now. The last thing I remembered was the redheaded woman at the door. She looked familiar. 
She was trying to tell me something, and then it went dark. It felt like a dream. Think, 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 man. I need to get out of here. A psychotic episode? Anything for me? Or was the multiverse true after nope. all? Did Sam do this? An elaborate hoax? Yep. Off the wall method acting reality show. It had gone way too far. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's go with that. Act like this is true. Okay. I'm an actor. I can do this. And once it's over, we'll have a good laugh. Yep. And then I will punch Sam in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Do do. These are nice little short things. Federal Bureau of Control. Where the hell am oh. I? More Danger. multiverse nonsense. But I was committed to play along. So Wreck is the control bureau. Oh, what had Sam said? I needed to find an energy node. And use this rod thing with it, the PRS, was it? Yeah. And look for some kind of TV to get the hell out of here. I have 50 bullets. No, no, no. Door's coming. He knows where I am. Oh, who is that? It's coming. He knows about the trailer. I need to hide the energy. I need to get it away from the trailer. Away from the TV. Yeah, that's why I'm no. coming back. Oh my, god. oh my god! I wasn't certain this was a prank anymore. I heard a voice in my head. It sounded like me. Bad the woman. Me. I heard the thoughts of another version of me, the one living here. You don't wipe. The trailer why was the Why are they hiding? Don't think. Just act. Darling door. Does one of us stop him? Wreck, Agent Breaker, Tim Breaker, James. You are a a paranoid nutcase. Killing us, chosen one. All right. You are here in the spiral. Even here. Nope. I don't know what's this? Give me a flashbang. It's safe. It's safe. The creek's deep in the forest, all the way at the water level. It's safe. Now get the fuck away from here before door zeroes in on me. I'll make it. I'm the chosen one out of all of the first. Yeah. Me. Yes. Yes. He's hidden the energy node at the creek in the forest. I have to find it. I have plenty of ammo again, I feel. Yep. Okay. I found the creek. So, where's the energy node? Not there. Can I actually go down this way? Nope. Can't go that way. Who's making noises? Flash paying some health. I think I found the energy node. There. to the trailer and the TV. Fuck this shit! 
I thought it was just the plot of the video game. But it was all real. <laughs> Door. The master of many worlds was murdering versions of the agent. Played by me. Versions of myself. <laughs> Anything. I've got a gun. It's all true. It's no hoax. No video game. I it's something really up happening. there. I was lost in the multiverse. I had to become the role to survive. <laughs> Be the agent. I had to get back to the trailer and the TV. Use my PRS on it. Dora would be coming for me next. I didn't want to face him. Fuck that. But I couldn't shake the feeling that it was inevitable. Use the PRS, the polyhedron reality shifter on the TV, to get out of here. I felt a strange pull from the vortex on the screen. I was afraid that wherever it would take me, I was going to run into this door person. But I couldn't stay here either. Interesting. Ocean View Motel. <laughs> Black and white now. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. I will take all this, please. Thank you. TV broke. Like how it's now black and white. I was in a different reality, but not better, worse. Maybe by thinking of Dor, I traveled closer to him, to where he was in control. Next time, I'd focus on something else. Entertainment, Tango, Coffee. What's in the box? More flash pains. It's always the right, the right time. version of the lobby in the right time when what I needed was there. Ocean View Hotel is just the right time only a doorway. Thanks to our hotel's unique time anomaly. Time is up to you. Did you oversleep? Visit our morning lobby for the never ending breakfast buffet. Craving delicious signature cocktails? Stop by the six o'clock lobby. Well, cocktail hour is always in full swing. Just follow the clocks to the time of your choice. So. The clocks showed the way. They'd guide me through to get what I needed. So entertainment is noon, tango is three, and coffee is nine. Okay, you got this. Find another node, another TV. So entertainment, I imagine entertainment. So let's go start with just head towards coffee first. Or this one. This is happy hour. Been a system, so looks, okay, whatever. Can't read any of that. It's not purser. Hey, it's Alti. Gift. We're in Tango Lobby. Let's go to coffee. <laughs> Lower that a little bit. Time was broken here. The corridors led to the same lobby, but in different times. Oh. 
Housekeeping. logic to it. Finding the right route to get through. Grab. Thank you. Oh, there's the stuff in there. Yeah. Give. All right. So, we're not an entertainment lobby. Six o'clock. This is the six o'clock lobby. Happy hour. All right, this would be to entertain. Ooh, what's this? The same warning sign as before. It made me think the fabric of this place was unraveling. Something to do with door. This one's a little more puzzly. Hey, door, can you say hello? A Luma Vista TV. I just needed energy to power it. I couldn't hear the thoughts of the other me, the one native to this reality. Maybe Breakfast door had killed buffet. him already. Not a happy thought. That's six. Let's go this way. All right, we're in the Tango lobby. Take all the stuff. So we're in Tango. The 9 p.m. Ah, found it. If I get clue close. Aha. The PRS was charged up. Now Damn I man. find my way back to the TV. That's why. When I used the TV to travel between realities, I was thinking of door. And the vortex brought me. <laughs> Where the time breakers attacked me. <laughs> oh, here, have this. Four. I'm hitting four. Has a little more combative than I expected it to be. This time, a different attack. I thought about the She knew things. If I could find my way to her, she could help. And away we go. They had a lot of fun crafting the each of these stories. Whoa, psychedelic. A lot of fun crafting them. Wait, is this going comic book? Something was different. <laughs> A strange feeling. Still, yet moving. 
frozen snapshots on a sequential path. What? And yet, thoughts flowing free. What the fuck is going on? Text read out loud. <laughs> it's turned into a comic. It's it's you. I made it. Oh shit! Thor pulled you away. He thought you were gone, for sure. I focused on. I'm wondering how like gameplay is going to happen in this. I, I was trying to reach you. You are full of surprises. Okay. Let's try this out. Welcome to the headquarters of the Ripple Effect Corporation. Or that's the Federal Bureau of we Control. A video game of the multiverse. But now it's RT. RT. Real and not real exist side by side in the multiverse. Echoes flow through it like currents in a cosmic ocean, the sea of night. Conceptual, fictional, this is not real, what I expected to happen. More real than real. Many versions of us all in hidden interaction, linked by the energies that ripple through huh. reality. Alan Wake. One of you is killed in an explosion of dangerous energy, and another one instead gains superpowers. And yet another one meets an alien guardian angel. <laughs> in reality, we're not even real. Or as you say, characters in a video game. <laughs> Why is he after me? Who is Dor? There are legends about him going back further than we can trace. Okay. They say he found an opening to a horrifying parallel reality that consumed him. Oh, I guess. Gave him access to all realities. The feedback loop killing all other versions of him. I am on the threshold. No, no. But he sees the versions of you as a threat. He's killing them, bringing them back as time breakers. Yeah. We thought he was after Branch. Now I'm thinking he's been after you. Ah. Your lives. The, part, the master of many worlds. Uh, the actor. We Can I do? I gotta clear my nose. He must be stopped. He leaves dead realities in his wake, and he is only picking up speed. I'm just an actor. You could have fooled me. You travel through realities with greater accuracy than anyone I've ever seen. Beyond door, even. You picked it up just like that. Mm. Finding the place that made him may be the key to killing him. That was our theory. But we could never find it. The fact that the sequel to Control Maybe is in the can. works is awesome. I mean, it makes sense why they had her come back because, hey, they're they're working on the, the game she's already that she's in. I was not expecting a comic book section. Was there something between you and Branch? What you think you are feeling is just an echo. Some other version of us in some other lifetime. Right. But maybe. Don't think about it. You'll come back for me. Maybe. Wish me luck. Luck is just an echo of an event <laughs> carried over from another reality. Hey, don't shut down luck. I was an REC agent. This was my mission now. I focused on him. The darkness, the entropy, door, the master. If we go to... Please tell me we're going to end up in the studio. To B. 
be a good den here. What the fuck? <laughs> I did not expect it to go into old school. My time breakers will stop you and you will join the ranks. Fuck off. Definitely interesting. Oh, I can move up and down. Okay. I didn't realize that. I'm starting early today because of the surprise uh this gate the dlc for alan wake how you go This just went places I did not expect. <laughs> like it's suddenly turning into a side-scrolling shooter game. Impressive. Join me. We'll rule together. No, never. You always regret this. I was lying. <laughs> like we had a black and white noir and then suddenly turned into a a comic book now it's into this oh four four nice that's some good wins i haven't been to a casino since uh last time i was in vegas which was when i was 25 retro <laughs> Where are we going now? I've been brought to the very edge of the multiverse. Mm. Or some deep, dark trench in it. Everything sucked dry of color and energy. Oh. I had to find Door. Or the Our means to change. travel on. From for the master of many worlds, Mr. Door. You should not be here. You made a mistake. No, I made a wonderful Go to hell. deal plan. <laughs> oh shit, where did you come from? I guess we're t technically finding the exact same character every time. Mine. I love you. I was never here. <laughs> I see the TV way over there. Yeah, I saw they announced that they also are announcing a like a super VIP that's like the day before. 
the part it actually opens to the public. Oh, we got a few friends here. Okay, you. Yeah, I mean, if it was like any other time, I've been there a couple times, and a lot of parks do this that they sell. Like, they do daytime, nighttime. Because haunted houses don't really work well during the daytime, unless they're, like, especially with scare zones and stuff. So, during the day, it's kind of more low tone, low key, kid, more kid friendly, trick or treating kind of thing. And then, when after a certain hour, it turns into full go. I'm excited because our theme park up here reannounced it's bringing back Valley Scare. I it was close. went away for a couple of years. I knew I was close now. So we're excited for it to be back. I want to heal. And off we go. Allows them also to make use of the stuff for the daytime event as well. What the fuck? We are literally a text to speech. Hold on, I gotta move my camera. After a dreamless sleep, you gradually come back aware of the utter lack of nothing you search for something to focus on any idea of a geometric shape comes to mind a printing gun pentagonal trapezoid trapezoid hedron how you know the name of the shape <laughs> that you don't know you feel yourself fading drifting apart losing your sense of essence in the stream of consciousness the ebbs and flows of your thoughts hold yourself together you fight to hold yourself together destroy them against the current to break the surface like we're gonna like explore <laughs> like holy this is remedy what are you guys smoking come into focus you realize your first impression was wrong there's something there is something and there is you slowly you sense the words describing this describing how it is here and in the farthest reaches of the multiverse you have reached reality where the only ideas exist an idea of a reality a conceptual reality a thought tries to form in your mind you focus on the thought. It becomes clear. In the beginning, there was a word. Here, only words exist. They are everything. They describe this world, and you are in it. The words I accidentally hit enter. The words describe your standing in a barren conceptual desert. It stretches onto an eternity. In a place outside of time, you wait an immeasurable amount of time. Above, ideas of stars silently collide and collapse into black holes. From the idea of a desert comes the idea of feeling thirsty. Coffee. As you imagine it, a cup of coffee, your favorite hot beverage, manifests itself. The idea of the concept is delicious and smell, delicious smell and taste. You savor it. You imagine savoring it. You understand here that your thoughts are as real as anything. You realize you could be trapped here forever. Vaguely, you remember that you're on a mission of vital importance. You feel the details already dissolving. You must figure out a way to escape before you lose yourself. When traveling through the world, you always focus on a point of mind. Could that be the solution here as well? You focus your thoughts on the master many worlds. The desert dreamscape around you darkens. You vaguely feel a terrible weight of an alien godlike awareness shift many realities away. How can you possibly find him? Let alone face him. Let's prepare for war. You know you'll have to fight the master many worlds as in his army typers. He will show you no mercy. You must prepare. Search for allies. 
Seek allies across the multiverse, reaching out to versions of you that have not been turned into time breakers by door. You share a telepathic link with them, and you are the perfect army. You are the perfect place of power to build your place of operations. In the desert, you come upon a giant petrified tree trunk, converted into a skyscraper of brutalist, brutalist architecture. Step the organization. Corporation. Call it the ripple effect. You call it Rec. Ripple Effect Corporation. Its name feels appropriate. You approach a version by a version of a red-headed woman. Her name is Jezebet. She doesn't know you, but there's a connection there. You make her the director of your corporation. She carries a powerful weapon that can take many forms. Federal Bureau of Control. Wait! There's something to me like we're the fucking entity. I'm going to trust her with that. You trust us about to wield a powerful weapon. She seems to leave and swears to defend you and the corporation from the enemy. As director, Jezebet warns you that Wreck is currently not equipped to subdue the master of many worlds. Without a technological breakthrough, your chances are slim. Mm, let's research. Alongside the director, you push your corporation towards researching new technologies. Millie Brandt researchers work for you now in wildly different departments. Not long after, Jezebet comes out with intelligence. Master of Many Worlds is preparing an all-out attack. Wreck is running out of time. Your researchers work long and hard, and finally a breakthrough. You craft the Time Breaker Solidifier, a piece of technology capable of making Time Breakers vulnerable to conventional weapons. A hush falls upon the Wreck headquarters as you wait for the enemy to come. Your agents, people, your agents, your warriors, are standing at the monitors of all. Jezebet stands beside you. They become... Then they come in. Timebreaker shifting in, filling the desert. Each one a version of you, killed by a corrupt master of versions of worlds. Multiverse is infinite. There are millions of them. See the attack. Or uh, some Meyer cost no award unless you hit jackpot. Yeah, I mean, slot machines in modern days are very controllable. That's. They can adjust the algorithm easily to increase or decrease the chances of winning. And then they can also have it where after each X amount of plays, it's increases slightly until a certain theme is hit and then it resets. It's like claw machines. Snarling, armed with time breaker solidifier and a gun, you fight the time breakers as your agents cut down all around you. You're dragged down by the sheer number of enemies. Jezebet comes to your res rescue. They're shifting weapon she shoots the time breakers pinning you down and extends her hand to her you she pulls you to her feet all is lost all your agents are dead or dying and the headquarters is flames jezebet urgently leads you away down the labyrinth bowls of the wreck building killing time breakers as they come finally a narrow exit stairwell she stops she tells you to run she will hold you off hold them off find your time to give you a chance to escape refuse she shouts at you to go, but you refuse to leave behind. Position is separated, but there are too many. You see Jezebet fall to the ground, shouting that you manage to cut your way to her, but you're too late. She dies in your arms. Rage fills your mind. When you pick it up, it fuses to your hand, become an extension of your mind and body. Filled by rage, you fight. You fight until all is all you know. Last eternity, but in the end, you stand alone. You look down at a lifeless body, wondering if there's any way else that this could have ended. You suppose you will never know. Weapon shifts in your hand one final time. It's now as a key. You look at the key. You realize you have lost your way. You've forgotten your mission, your goal. You drifted off course, carried by currents of your hopes and ideas in this conceptual reality. Try to remember. You frown, trying to remember where you were going. What was your mission? You look for it. Shifting you through your thoughts, it comes to your jolt. You're trying to find your way to master of many worlds. Something about a door. Focus on a door. That, the door becomes, begins to come in focus. You realize something is missing. Use the key. You push the key towards the idea of a keyhole, not quite on the door. That, the door is fully realized. You turn the key and open the door. Step over the threshold. Step inside and stand in a room with a, a man, the master of many worlds, sitting behind a desk, typing. Turning concepts into words, shaping this reality. He lifts his head. 
stare at the man's eye, shocked to realize you may have made a mistake. You have come to the wrong place. The man, this master of many worlds, is not the one you're looking for. He's not Dor. He's someone else entirely. You want to ask him what he knows, but it's already too late. <laughs> oh god, the old school. It's Alan. We have witnessed a case of mistaken identity. But in the vastness of the multiverse, with an endless number of versions of ourselves, what is identity anyway? <laughs> Can there be more than one master of many worlds? Or did our hero take a wrong turn somewhere along the way? Was this particular journey precisely what was needed to make him the one he was meant to become? One thing is certain. I am your host. The one and only Warland Boar. <laughs> and this is Night Springs. wonder if that could play out differently. But I'm also too lazy right now to go through that all over again. And the music again. All right, enough of that. <laughs> Wait, I have that flip. Ah, oh, shit. Hold on. There we go. Got it. All right, that was that. Love and memory of James McAfee. Chasing the murder cult made me feel like I was caught in a loop. Every time I thought oh. I was getting closer, things shifted around. And I realized I was further away than ever before. Instead of answers, I only got more questions. The name of the cult and the masks they wore kept changing. The deeper into the dark depths I got, <sighs> peeling off the layers of this case, like the ocean zones from twilight to midnight. Wonder if that's the final lines he recorded. The deepest trenches. The closer I felt to going mad. Yeah, we lost uh, the other year. We lost the voice of Max Payne. Which sucks. Yeah. That was that. That was the Night Springs expansion for Alan Wake. We still got another expansion on the way. We don't know when it's going to come out. They haven't announced it if they've announced it but we know nothing uh, 
all we know is going to be called the lake house we don't know when though so i want to thank you guys all for popping in tonight thank you grinning goat for showing up lavender panda pam sam to bob and everyone else who popped in and lurked i'm gonna call it here because i need to get some food in me i am hungry so i will see you guys tomorrow back with more of the count lucanor uh tomorrow until then laters Daddy. I'll make you better. <laughs>